What's up, everyone, and happy Wednesday. Listen, I hope everyone is having a great day, a beautiful day, and a blessed day as always. So I got a message for you guys today. So I'm about to go ahead and jump into this message. And the title of this message is going to be Speak Life Into the Dead Things. Speak Life into the dead things and as i was reading um ezekiel chapter 37 which was speaking about um ezekiel having a vision of going to the valley of some dry bones right and god told ezekiel to speak to the bones he said prophesy to these bones and if you hadn't first and foremost let me say um read the story this this passage then i encourage you to go read it and again and it, it is in ezekiel chapter 37 and when god told ezekiel to prophesy to the dead bones what happened was he heard a loud noise then there was a shaking and then things started to come together and that just hit me in my spirit so deep and it is a way of God telling us in life that we need to speak to the dead things in our lives speak to your unhappiness speak to your brokenness speak to your bitterness whatever may have a chokehold on you that may be preventing you from doing the great things that you know that is in the desires of your heart. Whatever is holding you captive and bound to where you've been for so many years. I'm going to need you to start speaking to those things. Start speaking life into your situation. Don't no longer complain or talk about, you know, about where you are and, and doing nothing because the worrying and the stress and the continuous talk of what is taking place in your life is not going to be the answer to setting you free. See, the answer to setting you free is you choosing to speak life into your situation because we all know that life and death is in the power of the tongue so because um ezekiel began to prophesy because he began to speak to the bones what happened was things began to come together but first there was a shaking so sometimes god has to shake things up in our lives before things can come together so therefore there was a shaking before the bones started to come together piece by piece to form exactly what is needed to be formed and then the skin came and then the flesh came and then the clothes came so God is saying that when you begin to speak life into the dead things in in your life guess what I will slowly but surely begin to bring things together that will eventually restore you restore you from all the years where you were struggling and surf, suffering and broken and hurt. Just so many things that caused you to be stuck and complacent in where you are. God is saying, I will restore you. But I need you to understand that you have the life to speak life in your mouth and to your situation. To see it change right before your eyes because ezekiel saw these dry dead bones begin to form life right before his eyes and god is saying this is what i want to do in your life i want to take the dead things and i want to restore life back into it because there is a lot of people who have walked around in a state of living death who are allowing the things to make them spiritually dead or just walking around living, I mean, existing, but not living. So you're walking around in a living death. And God said, I want to get you up out of that state. And I want to get you into living again. Let me breathe life 
back into you again the same way he did it from the beginning when he took his breath and breathed it to create Adam. God is saying, I want to breathe life back into my people again. But in order for me to do that this time around, I'm going to need you first to breathe life. I'm going to need you first to speak life into all the things that is around you so that I can restore it in the way that I want to restore it. Understand that the Bible says, speak to this mountain and it shall be moved. So speak life into the dead things and they shall come alive again. We have the power to speak to anything that has been hindering us, anything that has been allowing us to stay dormant, to stay stagnant, to stay still, to stay conformed, placed in the box, not seeing any light. But God says the light is in your mouth. Prophesy, speak life into the dead things. Listen, I'm trying to encourage some people on today. I need you to get this down in your spirit. Speak life into the dead things, whatever your dead thing is, if it may be your marriage, if it may be your job, if it may be where you're currently living, if it may be the, the issues, the situation that you are having with your kids, whatever the dead things in your life, it can be just your current struggle. That just seems like your life is dead because you just see no way out of your current struggle, of your darkness, of your storm. God says, speak life into your dead things and watch me bring it back to life by restoring to you every single thing that you need to thrive again, to breathe again, to live again, to have light again. But first, we got to speak life. No more dead things. No more walking around in a state of just living death. But instead of living a life of full restoration by God. Because he wants to do it. He wants to restore us. He wants to bless us. He wants to heal us. He wants us to live life and live life more abundantly. But sometimes he needs us to do the work that is required on our part. So sometimes we just got to say, you know what? I'm not going to choose to allow my situation to be my situation. I know that it may not be what I want it to be. I may not be where I want to be, but I know if I choose to start speaking life into my life and into my situation, that eventually, right before my eyes, I will see it all come together. Just as the way that God has preordained and predestined for it to be. So listen, I hope that this message has helped inspire Touch, bless anyone who it has reached. And as always, let's be motivated, but most importantly, let's stay inspired.